This is a newly constructed architectural masterpiece located here in the Pacific Palisades. It's got a remarkable zero edge pool, private movie theater bedroom with an amazing waterfall, unique architectural lines and details throughout, and some amazing ocean views. And I'm very excited to show you guys this property. Now, before we begin our tour today, don't forget to subscribe. We're touring more homes just like this one every single week on the channel. And huge thank you to Ryan and Trevor for making this tour possible. You can find their information down below in the description. And now let's get started. here today in the bright and sunny Pacific Palisades in Los Angeles, California, about to tour this newly constructed architectural masterpiece here right in front of me. Now looking up at the exterior, we see a simple smooth stucco finish across the entire space. Turfed two car driveway leads you down into your two car garage. We see views of the floor to ceiling walls of glass and the glass railing that surrounds this entire exterior. We also have white river rock details, which sections off this floating pathway. And what's really cool about this pathway specifically is the fact that you actually have this water feature on both sides of this area. So it feels like you're walking on this floating bridge every time you go up to your pivot front door. Now we've got more glass railing, like I mentioned, and to my left, we have an impressive water feature right here. It's nicely tiled with blue tiles all across the space. We've got more river rock details down there, and that waterfall is absolutely phenomenal. You can listen to the sound of that waterfall every time you walk up to your front door here. Also, it's just such a cool statement piece, something to look at every time you park your car and you come down this floating pathway. Now also, right in front of me, we have some remarkable views of the Pacific Ocean here in the Pacific Palisades. And also directly in front of me, we have this spacious grass patch over there, which you could of course add seating sections to. You also get great views of your contemporary exterior and views to your interior great room. We've got large hedges surrounding the property, so it's very private very secured, of course. Let's continue our tour down this floating pathway. And you can see you have your massive pivot front door that kind of resembles the door to a safe or a vault. It's a very thick front door, as you can see, crafted with metal details. You've got the metallic handle here right as you enter. You actually have a code which opens up the door, which is really cool in case you forget your key somewhere else or you left it at home. And another item we definitely have to talk about is the fact that you have this set of deadbolts right here. You just turn the knob and those deadbolts extend out extremely far. And those also, of course, will be going inside of your metallic door frame. Now, we have a floating staircase which takes you down below to your lower level. And that has the primary bedroom suite, guest bedroom with waterfall views and access to the backyard. And we also have this staircase, which takes us up to the top floor. And that contains the kitchen, living room area, and your dining space. And we're actually gonna head up this floating staircase first. So follow me up here and you can see we have just made it up to the main floor of the property. We actually are standing on this floating bridge right here, which is also nicely railed off with these interior glass panels. We have direct access to the kitchen and the family room, which we will be seeing momentarily. But 
first things first, I want to take you here into the great room of the property. Upon entering, we have high ceilings, access into two seating spaces, plus your formal dining room area. This space has seating for up to six of your guests at this rectangular glass table. Also, right off of this section, we have a spacious balcony with a seating area, which overlooks your gorgeous backyard, of course. You can open that up, feel the fresh breeze, enjoy a nice meal here at the table. And in the distance, you're getting amazing views of the mountains looking down over towards the Santa Monica area. Now, we have a lot more to cover here for this main floor. There's a lot of very unique details throughout the space. We've got the engineered light oak hardwood floors throughout this entire section here as well. This is the second seating area that we will be touring here on this main floor. You've got lots of recessed lighting details here positioned inside of this wall. We have never seen a detail like this before on the channel. I think it looks amazing. It complements the space extremely well and it looks very artistic. Also, you can see you have some linear LED strip lights, which also border the perimeter of this entire great room. And we also will be seeing details just like that later on in our video. Seating space is nicely staged with contemporary furniture. You also have this interior plant life, which sections you off from your main entrance area. Also, something I want to mention, we have these corner sliding glass doors here, which we have actually slid all the way back, giving us this remarkable indoor-outdoor living experience here, where you are facing the direct views of the Pacific Ocean here. It looks absolutely amazing from this vantage point. And if you look down below me right here, that is your waterfall, which I referenced earlier. And that is right off of a private bedroom you have on the lower level, which we will be seeing later, of course. I mean, guys, every time you're relaxing in this living room space, you can open up these doors, listen to your waterfall, and look down below at this statement piece. Now, let's continue our tour. This is the next seating space that we will be seeing here for this great room. Once again, more contemporary furniture is placed all throughout the area. I love all of the complimentary colors that they have here. Circular coffee table, of course, and directly in front of me, we've got your linear glass enclosed fireplace here floating off the ground. Positioned above that is your flat screen TV. And you can also see up above, we have a textured wallpaper detail which covers this entire side of the wall. And you also have some recessed shelving illuminated with the LED light strips. And inside of these shelves are multiple gold bar blended whiskey bottles. And you also have these skull bottles right here as well, which is something I've never seen. That is pretty cool. Now let's continue our tour around this corner. We've checked out the right wing of this main level here, but we still have to take a look at the left wing. Also, one more item I should mention, right when you enter the property, you have this gorgeous skylight positioned right above, which of course brings natural light into all levels of the home all day long. And you've also got some recessed LED lighting above there too, which illuminates the perimeter of the space. Now let's continue down. We've just made it into your contemporary well-appointed kitchen, which has breakfast bar seating for up to four of your guests here. Contemporary light fixtures are positioned right above. Also, you have these hidden drawer spaces here right above your countertop, which I thought was a pretty interesting detail. You've got the dark tones all throughout. Espresso tone wood has been imported from Italy. You've got your Mila appliance suite right here. Microwave above, oven position below that. You've got your side-by-side -side fridge and freezer here, and you've also got some custom cabinetry with the same espresso toned wood, all soft closing, and your fridge and freezer are nicely paneled and they're pushed to open. Take a look in there. I mean, how gorgeous is that? You've got all the bottles of Fiji water, lemons, oranges. The pop of color looks amazing. I'll save this for later. It's pretty hot out here today in Los Angeles, California. It's a great ending to the summer. Now let's continue around this corner. We've got more custom cabinetry positioned all throughout, trash area, and you've also got some hidden cabinetry below that, and it's all soft closing. 
and you've got some glass paneled uppers positioned throughout, illuminated with the LED light strips. Stainless steel sink is located to my right. You've got the matte black fixtures with the rose gold accents across the space. Position next to that, you've got your panel dishwasher, of course. Again, it nicely blends in with the rest of the custom cabinetry. There's no handles present. Everything is very clean and very minimalist. Now, if we continue down, we've got more custom cabinetry, all soft closing, of course. You've got your four burner stove top nicely integrated within the countertop. I always love seeing ranges like this in homes. Just looks nice and contemporary. Also, press a simple button right here and you've actually got your Miele hood. You press a simple button and just like magic, it comes completely out of the countertop so you don't have a big hood obstructing your view of the main floor. Pretty cool, I mean, take a look at that. I like that feature. Now let's continue down. More custom cabinetry. You've got your microwave right down below the space as well. But now let's continue down. This is the final seating space that we will be seeing here on this main floor. Circular coffee table, L-shaped couch. You've got the mounted flat screen TV with the fireplace position below. And this is a corner facing living space. So what that means is that you actually have these corner sliding glass doors, which do pocket into both sides of the wall. You get great views of your zero edge pool and your seating space down below in the backyard, which we will be seeing later. Gallery wall to my left. Let's continue down directly to my right hand side. We have access into a beautiful powder room with a semi-circular mirror, pedestal sink with the ceiling mounted faucet and more beautiful finishes throughout. And then right next to that area, we have access into a private office with remarkable ocean views. It's also got a walk-in closet and an ensuite bathroom with the floating vanity and the glass enclosed walk-in shower space. Now that concludes our tour for this main level here, but now we gotta head down your floating staircase and check out the lower level. Coming down your wooden staircase directly to my left, that is access into your two car garage. And we've just made it down to the bottom of this house here. Take a look to my left. That's where you have the primary bedroom suite with an amazing bathroom, which we'll see in a second. In front of me, you've got your backyard. But again, we're gonna wait. We'll show you that later. First things first, follow me here. You've got a storage section, which is located right under your floating staircase to my right. We've got access into the first guest bedroom that we will be seeing here for this lower level. You've got contemporary furniture located across the space. And to my right, you've got the sliding glass doors, which take you straight out to the backyard. And we'll see that momentarily. Mounted flat screen above. Let's continue around the corner. We've got the sliding glass door, which leads you into your spacious walk-in closet where you have all of the built-in items. And right behind that, you've got your ensuite bathroom, which has the floating vanity and the glass enclosed walk-in shower space, which is nicely tiled all throughout. Now let's continue our tour through this hallway. To my right, you've got your laundry space, with space for two appliances. And then moving down through guys, this is my most favorite space in the entire property. It's pretty loud right now, I'm not going to lie, but take a look at the view that we have of this waterfall. Guys, this is seriously insane. This has gotta be my favorite feature we've seen in a long time. Let me take a look at this. You can go right next to it, relax, maybe sit in the shallow water. You've got the river rock details, of course, and this raging waterfall. It goes all night long, you can listen to that before you go to bed. And of course, you've got the water feature surrounding the walls of this entire space. Now, of course, you've got the waterfall, but I wanted to say that you also have this seating section here with the circular marble table. I mean, that space is just seriously crazy. The walls enclosing the exterior. You've got the glass panels right above here too. Look at that thing. It's like we're at Wild Rivers. It's crazy. Now, 
We've got contemporary furniture all across this space. And another item we have to talk about, you actually have this top secret drop down projector. And then you press this button right here and then your movie screen actually drops down directly from the ceiling. So if you wanna have movie nights in this bedroom here, you can definitely do it because you've got that top secret screen. And then of course, when you don't wanna watch a movie instead, you just wanna watch the waterfall, well, press the button and then it goes up like so. Now another item we have to talk about is your ensuite bathroom. Once again, you've got the floating vanity inside of the space. Vessel sink, of course, with the matte black fixtures. Circular mirror, of course, has the touchscreen details. You've got the light fixture next to that. The space is nicely tiled all throughout. You've got the glass enclosed walk-in shower space. But now, I want you to focus on this window specifically. Take a look at this detail. So, you guys may have seen this before on Instagram or maybe on any other house tour channel, but take a look at this. Press a button, this is smart glass. You press a button and this entire space actually just turns opaque. So you can't even see through it, you block out any natural light. No one else can see from the outside as well. And then you press a simple button once again and it's back. I think that's a crazy feature. There's a couple cars nowadays that have features like that, but this is the first time that we're seeing it inside of a home. And I think every house nowadays should have something like that. Around the corner, we've got the walk-in closet, of course, glass enclosed, but let's continue our tour. You can see that we are back into the main landing of this lower level, backyard to my left, but let's continue directly to my right. And we've just made it into the spacious primary bedroom suite. We've got the California king size bed, right when we walk in. And you've got the built-in headboard here with two built-in nightstands on either side of the space. You've got more contemporary furniture across the area. LED light strips border the perimeter of this room. You've also got another fireplace to my left, mounted flat screen above, and you've got some nice artwork in this section. And one more thing I did want to mention, this is a corner facing bedroom here. So you've got the sliding glass doors on both sides, leading you directly out here to your backyard. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think we've ever seen a primary bedroom that gets direct access to your backyard. It's usually guest bedrooms, secondary bedrooms that get the direct access, but this house is a little bit different and I do really like that feature. Now, before we talk about the backyard, I wanna head back inside so we can see the rest of the primary suite. Let's continue our tour around this corner. We've got the sliding glass doors, which take you into the primary closet here. You've got beautiful built-in items all across the space, more of the espresso tone wood, like the wood that we saw over in the kitchen. You've got downward sloped shelving for all of your shoes, glass paneled custom cabinetry throughout, which is indeed all soft closing. And you've got LED light strips all across the section as well. Spots for all your clothing, your shoes, your jewelry. It really has everything. Now let's continue around the corner once again. This is your primary bathroom. Right when we walk in, we are greeted with this contemporary floating vanity countertops above with the beautiful stone detail. You've got dual sink setups here with your fabricated sinks on both sides. Mounted mirror above, once again, does have the touch controls and you've got some custom cabinetry positioned here right below, glass enclosed water closet in front of me and around this corner, this is your glass enclosed dual shower setup and you've also got your freestanding tub inside the space. We've got the gray stone walls surrounding this wall and they actually carry on all the way back to your floating vanity. You've got the freestanding tub like I mentioned, picture window view looks out to the foliage. You've got the LED light strips above me here and two mountain rain heads for your shower space. Body sprays of course with the floating shelving and you've also got your linear drainage right below the section. Now that's all for the primary bedroom suite, but now you gotta follow me around this corner 
We have to head straight outside to the backyard through the stacked glass doors. We've got access into a seating section with your fire pit directly in the center. Epe wooden deck surrounds the backyard here as well. It was recently installed. It's nice and shiny still. It looks amazing, of course. You've also got plant life surrounding the entire section. Very tall plant life, I should mention. It protects the backyard. No one can see in. It makes the home very secure. Let's continue down. Massive zero edge pool is positioned here in the center. And what's very interesting is that it actually is half a jacuzzi and half a normal pool. So I was told that you can actually heat up half of this section here. Although there is no tile or wall separating it, you can still heat up designated half of the pool if you like for it to be your hot tub. Pretty cool or you can keep it all nice and even if you wish. So I thought that was a pretty cool detail. Zero edge, of course, like I mentioned, you've got the seating space to my right, more foliage throughout. Let's continue our tour and we have more of the plant life. And from this vantage point, we're getting remarkable exterior views of the architecture here. Now that concludes our tour today for this remarkable property here in the Pacific Palisades. Don't forget to subscribe. We're touring more homes just like this one every single week on the channel. And huge thank you to everyone who made this tour possible. You can find their information down below in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.